This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Death's in the air. And there's free coffee in the lobby. Only one of you will survive. It's been all over the news. I mean, there was a whole montage about it at the beginning, so I'm surprised you didn't see this coming. Okay, first question. If you searched your heart, what would you find? Use your device to answer the question. It goes for the audience, too. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Doom service! Work room 113! This one's just about me giving you a gift. Some families hide their shame. We gift wrap them. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Ah, memories! They're the worst. Ah, my grandpappy Jack's glasses. Rumor has it they let him see into the beyond. He succumbed to supernatural madness. So, watch out for that, I guess. Moving on. Only one of you can survive this game. And who knows, maybe it'll be the audience. Hey audience, good luck out there. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience whenever. It's like super low pressure. Let's keep moving. Which Muppet plays the drums? <laughs> Who picked this? Well, that sucks. Let's try another one. What's it called when a horse has one of those wide white stripes down its face? Me. Welcome to room 217. Ah, the spirit of giving. You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But there's a catch. If one of you ends up with $800 or more, I'll kill the other one instead. Begin. To who? Well, that's a lot of money. Too much, really. So you're safe. 
but you spent your money unwisely. You're back! Dying doesn't mean you have to drop out. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Where was Judo developed? Who picked this? Welp, didn't want that to happen. Let's try another one. What's that thing called where you involuntarily jolt yourself awake right as you're falling asleep? I hate that thing. still alive, it's time. Let's play a dice game. It's real simple. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Time to roll. The player with the highest total dies. Someone's feeling the bad luck. Players left alive will go to the final round. Next question. Robert Galbraith is a pseudonym sometimes used by what famous author? On. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. The worst mathlete will be punished. Let's go! So Americans say math, but the British say maths. That's weird, right? Hurry up and finish your math! Wow, this ended with you to the power of dead! You know, they say if someone dies wearing my grandpappy's glasses, Every living person who witnesses it is inflicted with the supernatural madness. Oopsie! Let's keep moving. How many U.S. states border the Pacific Ocean? Who 
subject this. Time for consequences. This one lets you protect yourself with the password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Now everyone else will try to crack the passwords. As a team, guess either password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. I will reward you all for every password you figure out in time. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. What's the opposite of a firewall? Because that's you. Let's try another one. What very serious sport has a position called Silly Point? Who picked this? Follow me. I hope you're good with instructions. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. The rules are already on your device. Go, go! Speaking of rules, you ever used a slide rule? It's kind of like a guillotine, but for numbers. Rule time is coming to an end. I guess you were overruled. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Darkwing Duck Villains. Tap each answer that... Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. Well, you would have moved closer to the exit if you'd gotten any of those right. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up! Hmm, you're better than I thought! Boats with sails! Big 
Shadow Blade characters. Trouble. Here comes the darkness. Venomous animals. Time is almost up. As a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. College football balls. Renaissance artwork. Time is almost up. Getting pretty close to the exit. One last trap. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. There's not much time. I'm Dr. Caralda, a licensed physician of the mystical arts. You seem to have been infected by a supernatural madness. Not to be confused with a real mental illness, which is a serious issue that I have no formal training in. Quickly, you need to answer this question correctly or forever be tormented by spooky apparitions. What is the square root of one? Kind of a softball, honestly, but important nonetheless. <laughs> it all comes down to this. You did it! You're free of the evil! I'll send you my bill. I'm not in network for any known insurance plans. <laughs>